Hi, I'm Amy. My role is a trainee education mental health practitioner from the North Dorset Mental Health Support Team. This week, my colleagues and I talk with your child about transition from primary to secondary school. The session involved getting your child to describe how it might feel to move to secondary school and exploring different ways of managing change ahead of them. We have spent time brainstorming what the similarities and differences would be between primary and secondary school, and what are the most important things they need to know about secondary school at this stage to get themselves prepared for this transition. We also got them to think about what a new year seven pupil might be thinking, feeling, and doing on their first day of secondary school, because these three elements interact and can keep their stress and worries going. For example, if your child on the first day of secondary school is thinking, "I don't think I will be able to do this. I'm afraid that I will make a fool of myself in front of my new classmates." Then those thoughts might cause physical changes in his or her body. For example, he might get feeling shaky and sweaty. What we notice is that what happens in our body also links to what we do. So he or she might then refuse to attend school, stay home, or avoid making new friends. Then we got your child to remember and learn how to apply the skills they have learned from the previous sessions. Including coping skills such as some breathing and the distraction techniques, ways to manage our worries, for example, worry time and worry box for what if worries, and problem solving for practical worries, resilience building such as increasing positivity, engagement with friends, finding life values, and doing things that are meaningful and can increase their sense of achievement. We showed them a video which normalized the fact that we experience a lot of changes in our life from time to time, and some changes can be quite disorienting and confusing. But we can adjust to change and start to enjoy it. In the video, some Year Seven students who have just gone through all these changes have shared their experience and tips. For example, stay connected to your friends. Because talking to people is the number one way to realize that things will be okay. Or take a moment to step back and have a look at what's happening right now, rather than worrying about the future. Because every change has a good side, and no one knows what's coming up next in life. So try not to stress about it. If your child really struggles with year seven transition. These are some hotlines and agency where you can get further support for them. You can also self-refer your child into our EMHP service if required. We will see if this is the right type of support your child would like to engage in.